Hi guys, this is Chris from KVM Design. I wanted to do another quick Photoshop video uh, to show you how you can use some of the textures in the Photoshop kit, the Photoshop kit that's uh, in my Etsy shop. Um, so I did another few videos on Photoshop to show you how uh, you can do, um, like you can use the kit to do very cool things in Photoshop very quickly. So here I wanted to show you how you can um, add textures to your floor plans and your elevations. Uh, and so that they're you know, nicer to present uh, to your clients. So here, these ones already have a little bit of color. Uh, it was added in Vectorworks. So I did those plans in Vectorworks and I did show uh, the clients just these plans actually with just the elements that were in uh, wood. But I wanted to show you how you can add um, a few other things to make your plans a little bit more interesting for presentation. So you can really um, use anything, any of the textures. And I'm actually gonna rotate this one so that it's because I'm already showing um, the direction of the wood planks. So I'm gonna rotate this. Um, there you go. And then you just basically scale it so that it works. Wow, it works pretty well with my wood planks on my plan, actually. That was totally unplanned. But um, so the, the thing that I would do if you're working in AutoCAD or Vectorworks, I would actually make sure that the furniture uh, is not wireframe, but it's, ac it's actually white. Because then when you put your floor plan, you see it doesn't... I mean, it keeps the furniture white. So then it's going to be easier for you to apply a fabric, for example, on the sofa or just a color. I would just do colors. I'm try I try to generally use a mix of colors and textures, not too many textures. So it's not too much. Um, but here I think, you know, color would be enough. So maybe a gray. Um, so here, let's see, for example. So I'm going to select here the floor plan. Let me... How do I move this? Uh, let me select the island. So another thing, if I were to resave this plan, I would save it without any of the writing on it um, so that it's nicer for presentation. But I just took something that I had in my file. Um, I didn't want to save it again. I'm super lazy. Um, <laughs> So let's say I want my island to be gray. Actually, the island, I would probably take a marble texture um, and then add a marble texture. But so create a new layer and then you're just going to drop a color. And you can do the same thing over here on the sofa. Um, here we go. Okay, so create a new layer. Let's do a different color. I don't know. What do we want the sofa to be? Let's do this. Okay. And then what you can do, so see here, I would definitely not add any dimensions because I don't think it looks very good, but you got it. So when you save your plan, better to save it without the dimensions. You could save two, two different floor plans, so then you can overlap them, but make sure the furniture is kind of... Um, on a white background, it makes things easier to see, especially if you don't want to add color to everything. I don't think it's necessary, but see how adding just a, um, a flooring makes such a, a, a big difference. So then you could use, uh, you know, shadows or, you know, to make it a little bit better. I would actually probably, I would select that top part because it's higher right it's the back of the sofa and I would make it a little bit darker it already gives it a little bit more um, depth so yeah I could do another video to show you how to use shadows and uh, colors to make it more um, realistic I guess so that's for another day then you could add some rugs here 
if you have a rack that you know you're going to specify, just add the rack in the presentation, you know. Um, this Photoshop kit is great because it has, um, it has, you know, the basic te textures, but then if you are specifying any, you know, um, any rugs or any type of material, you should add it into the plan and the elevation. So for example, here, so see how the wood is already showing, but you know, I generally would do that in Photoshop if I decide that I want to do, you know, just that for presentation with no 3D rendering. I would probably just do the colors in, uh, in Photoshop and add materials from the kit. So wall cladding, for example, uh, tile floor. Well, it's flooring, but I feel like it's not really flooring this one. It's more like wall. Uh, so I'll add that to the wall, for example. So here, so then you resize it so it works with your bathroom. Whichever way works best. Then what you do, change the opacity a little bit so you can see everything. You see here, so I'm gonna make it smaller here so it fits. And then you can also choose where you want to cut the tiles. Okay, I'll cut it here. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is from the floor plan um, layer, you're gonna pick the wand, wand and select the white background. See how it's, it's, it's selecting the wall, but it's not selecting the fixtures. This is what we want. So then you're gonna go back to the tile layer. You're gonna say select inverse and you're gonna delete. And see what happens is that it kept the texture on the wall, that's what we want, and then it's removed it all around so the fixtures don't have the, the background anymore, so that's what we want. And then I would definitely add some color or at least some gradient to the fixtures so you know it looks a little bit more 3D rather than 2D. But that's how I do it. Then one more trick. What could I show you? Wall cladding. Ah, oh, let's do a wall cladding. What do we want? Do we want to try this one? Let's see. Well, this is the... Where, where, where would we put that? This is a totally random texture for the space. But I just want to show you how to use this kit. Whether it's for you know, like visuals, because originally, you know, I, I say it's for, to create 2D visuals. Um, but, uh, 2D, 3D visuals, but you can use it for 2D drawings as well. And I love to do that in, um, for my presentations when I, I don't show 3Ds, I just add textures and colors to the 2D elevations and floor plan and it makes such a difference. At least it gives, you know, your clients an idea of where the, the materials go and how they work together. So here you could so do the same, change the opacity. Okay, uh, let's say that we want this to be a little bit smaller. So then same. You go back to this layer, the floor plan or the elevation layer. You select here the background. Then you go back to the wall cladding. Invert. Where is invert? Where is it? Select inverse. Sorry. And then you delete, and when you turn it back on, ta-da, here we go. And that's how you use the kit. So the kit is in my Etsy shop. It's the most popular item in the Etsy shop because you have lots of textures. You have um, even like stuff for decoration. You have plants. Uh, there are literally so many things. Um, so yeah, have a look. And if you have any questions about how, like, what you want to see, you know, do you need more help for floor plans and elevation? Do you want to see something specific? Just let me know in the comments and I'll do another quick video. Thank you. Bye-bye.